Hey friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. Thanks for joining me for this demo and review of Ample Sound's newest product, Ample Ethno Banjo. I'm really excited about this one because I've been waiting for it for a couple of years now. I was actually there at NAMM when Ample Sound bought this with the plan that they were going to sample this and create a new virtual instrument. It took a very long time because as you know, Ample Sound has been making a lot of different types of instruments, but this one in particular was very difficult to make because of the logic of the fifth string. I'm not gonna explain why it's so difficult, but just know that it, it's pretty tricky to, to create something that responds in the same way as a real banjo. It's a difficult instrument. It's usually used for arpeggios and uh, not very lyrical playing, although you can, it's not typically used for that. This particular model was used with picks as opposed to fingers, which is called the claw hammer technique. I'm gonna go through the articulations like I usually do, the new features, and then I'm gonna show you some riffs that were custom made for this instrument so you can see its full potential. All right, so this is sustain. As you can see, whenever I play G3, it hits that fifth string. It will trigger that string every time I play a different note after it. What a gorgeous sound. Let's hear it on the high, higher notes. Let's hear those effects. Uh, let's go to the other articulations. This is natural harmonics. Palm mute. As someone who's used to playing guitars on keyboard, it's hard for me to get my mind around this different type of tuning. All right, then here's slide in and out. Legato slide. Hammer on pull off. And then a new articulation, which is a strum. If you press C0 and F sharp zero at the same time, Subsequent notes on strings three, four, and five are gonna be strums, and one and two are gonna be sustain. So on these, uh, these third and fourth, fifth strings, you're gonna hear a strum. I'm sure that's not physically possible on a banjo. What a crisp sound. The other new feature is the different miking techniques. Right now you're hearing bridge stereo. And then let's listen to the body stereo.
brings out some different tonal characteristics. And then here is next stereo. So it gives you a wider sound. And then there's mono. They're all great sounds and you can customize it yourself. You can raise the body sound, bridge, neck, and master. I'll skip over these as these are, these are available in their other plugins as well. Another new thing is the bend and vibrato system, which uses their latest technology in pitch bending. This is going to sound a lot more natural. You can also customize the modulation or the vibrato time in milliseconds rather than by note divisions. This, is, this gives you a lot more control. And you can adjust the gain on it and how much it bends. So I'll give you an example. I want a slow vibrato, I just raise this. And then if I want a fast vibrato, I lower this. A little too fast. I think the sweet spot's about around 250. I prefer it like this in milliseconds rather than a note divisions because I don't like my vibrato being dependent on my DAW tempo as the old ones were. All right, then you have pitch bend, which sounds a lot more natural. Lots of great sounds. So I'm going to go through some riffs so you can hear just how great this sounds. This is a default and this is called Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Now, I'm sure you've heard that before. This is a very famous banjo piece, but I want you to listen to the details of those sounds, the sliding, the hammer on, all those little effects. Like you can get a lot of nuance out of this instrument. As you can see, this fifth string is engaged a lot and that's what makes it difficult to play manually. You might not be able to play the string that you want, so it's easier to program this instrument. Now let's listen to the next one. This is called Cripple Creek. It just sounds so clean. That slide was just so beautiful and smooth. Uh, this one right here. And the tone changed too, be, uh, based on this preset. It sounds a lot brighter, a lot more nasal. And then here is Dear Old Dixie. Of 
course, you can use strummer with this. Which is cool because it gives you the natural chords for this instrument. They have not set up any chord banks yet. As you can hear, or as you can see, I don't know if you noticed that the fifth string was not strummed on that one. I'm not sure if that's usually avoided with a real banjo, but this is honestly the most beautiful virtual banjo I've heard. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed this demo of Ample Ethno Banjo. If you like this review, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't. Leave a comment below, tell me what you thought, and I'll see you next time.